and we caught and tagged a 14 foot long female white shark um, that we nicknamed Lee Beth. Um, since we tagged her in early December, she's traveled over 2,000 miles. Um, she has moved the furthest west into the Gulf of Mexico any white shark's ever been tracked. So she has certainly made shark science history. Um, and we. Yes. Yeah, that awesome. He's out here. If you jump, let me know. One was really groundbreaking uh, is the camera tag. So that footage that um, you all saw a snippet of. So she was the first shark that ever received a camera tag in the Southeast. And it was really incredible from the perspective of a shark scientist because it gave us the first glimpse into the life of a white shark in their overwintering habitat ever. Um, we And um, since she was has pinged in there, she's turned back and she's now headed back east. And we expect to see her move back into the waters off of New England or Canada at some point this summer. So is this is a, a population that's recovering um, after being fished down really hard. So it's a conservation success story. It's really encouraging to see and what we're seeing with white sharks like Lee Beth now is that they are kind of um, coming back into the range we know they historically occupied. So we get quite Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.